Welcome back to Good Morning Law Island. I am so excited to welcome Lisa Link to the show. Thank you so much for being with us, Thank Sunshine. Thank you. Welcome. You are such a light comedian, actress, creator, of dog moms. So yes. We gotta go there. Okay, fine. Please. Okay, <laughs> okay. So take us back because obviously there was this parody of Dance Moms. Yes. So are you familiar with Dance Moms? I am, of course. Oh, She's from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yes. Obviously. Oh, yes. You know, yes, know. Abby Lee. Yes. Okay. So I uh, try not to watch reality TV, but I do get sucked in, of course. And then uh, I hated myself for watching this show. I just hated myself because it's like the perfect storm. It's children who are upset and moms who are trying to do their best and this woman who is like holding people to a professional standard that's unrealistic. And I just thought, I can't stand that these young girls are being kind of emotionally abused, right? And I, I thought this is terrible and yet every Tuesday night, my ass was on the couch <laughs> ready to watch. Um, and then I thought, you know what, though, if there was, because I have dogs, I don't have children. Um, and I thought if there was a show that was putting animals through any kind of emotional abuse, even for a hot second, I would move heaven and earth to get it off the air. So then I thought, okay, the only appropriate punishment is for me to create something. <laughs> so I made Dog Moms, which is a parody, and I play Waggy Lee, um, Waggy Lee Miller, who is the preeminent dog trainer and dog dance trainer. And I mean, nothing is funnier than watching adults put costumes on dogs and scream at them <laughs> and it um, is, it it's totally happens. improvised and I have all my improv friends from Chicago and LA and we just uh, they are just brilliant everybody was brilliant in it it was so fun I can't believe we had six dogs on set on one day and it was great and we got everything we needed amazing yeah yeah. What's, the, what's been the most challenging part of putting that production together? Um, you know, it was really having six dogs on set on one yeah. day because we had no idea. They weren't professional dogs. They were our dogs. And so, but they were like, this is great. <laughs> we're getting <laughs> treats all day yeah. long. Um, you know, we're just playing around in the backyard and they had a great time. But what is your life like as a real dog mom? in Los Angeles. Oh, my dogs love LA. They love being LA dogs. They are so LA. They get acupuncture and Stop physical it. therapy. <laughs> <laughs> acupuncture? We go to CARE, which is California Animal Rehab. I am going to get a shout out to them uh, because one of my dogs, they're 12 and 14. They have some mobility issues. One injured her back a couple years ago and literally wasn't walking and now is walking. And um, I wish I got physical therapy and acupuncture but my dogs are more la than i am <laughs> only because of their mother thank yeah. you thank you right you get it you get it i know and but listen those are my kids that's what i do it's it is interesting though because so many times people just think oh they're pets but they are like your children mm. listen i choose not to have children and i choose pets that i can leave in a crate for eight hours and not go to jail for it right <laughs> so that's my jam oh, no. right? well, i mean you do care for them oh, oh fun and really? yeah. 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 but you know if you had a kid and you put it in a crate hours and left you'd go to jail yeah they might not and work mine is called oh that's proactive dog guardianship we have seen you on some of the top network shows yeah. films you are obviously hilarious and in such a character. What is your life like as a working actor in LA? Gosh, you know, thanks for asking because I feel like there's a real like smoke and mirrors misconception and I loved what you said at the top of the show. In about LA? How, yeah. 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 No, it's not about <laughs> fantasy. <all>. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you get out here and you think, I'm just, I'm on the sprint to the Oscars, and it is a marathon, you know? And there, I do believe there is work for everybody who is willing to work and work hard. But, boy, you really have to find your, your niche, and you have to be good, and you have to work hard at it. And um, fortunately, I love hard work. Like, I really love... because you're a Midwesterner. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I do, I do love it, and I love creating and creating my own content, and... Um, I don't know. I've just been really, really fortunate to kind of fall into a great acting school and find great people and just love the process of the job out here, which is booking the job. Mm -hmm. The job is booking the job, right? Until you're, you know, a top name star. It's that's that's the job. Did you always know you wanted to be in entertainment like when you're little? I, you know, my mom's best friend, who's no longer with us, remembers calling me at age four, Sarah Bernhardt, because everything was so <laughs> dramatic, right? Um, you know, mom, Craig won't let me play with him. That's my brother. So she knew right away. And then 
I, I think I've, I veered away from it. So I'm kind of glad I went to school and I thought I was going to be in the business route. And then I came back mm. um, by way of improv, which was kind of. Why'd you come back? I just, I was in grad school. I was getting my MBA and in the student paper, there was an ad for an improv team. This woman was putting together and I thought, oh, that'll be great way to relieve stress. Yeah. And I just fell right in love with it. And that became kind of what I wanted to do all the time. Yeah, I don't blame you. MBA improv, it's like. <laughs> well, one pays much MBA, more than yeah, the other. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But one pays more internally, intrinsically, That's right. than the other Thank as well. Thank you. Nice callback, yeah. my friend. Nice work. Every now and then. Yeah, there you For go. people watching who don't know what improv is, how would you describe yes. it? Um, so improvisation is the art form of creating scenes, songs, games, et cetera, in, at the spur of the moment. So uh, it can be one person up to a team of like 15 people, that's a lot, um, but you are given a suggestion from the audience and then you create anywhere from like a single scene all the way up to an hour long performance. And there's just many different kinds of, of um, uh, improv and, and the forms and long form, short form. It's kind of its own huge art uh, art form, and there's a lot of, of places to study, and I've been at some of the best, and I, I've really loved my journey. It's a it. huge scene in Chicago. It's yeah. a huge scene yeah. in, in both New York and L.A., but it's also a great place for you to discover things about yourself when you're putting yeah. these intense situations. What have you learned? Um, I love tolerating ambiguity. I'm very comfortable with it, which has really prepped me for being an actor here in L.A. <laughs> um, and I enjoy a collaborative medium, which I thought improv was the main collaborative uh, medium. But, you know, I learned since being out here in TV and film that that is the most collaborative medium because even though you don't know what you're doing in improv and you're creating in the moment and you truly have to be like listening and all of you are creating something together, man, when you're working on a network show, even as I'm showing up as a co-star or a guest star, there's hundreds of people who are all working together to create the best, you know, 30 to 60 minutes of television or, or, you know, 90 to two hours of film. And that to me, I just kind of blew me away. I was like, oh, this is way more collaborative mm -hmm. than, than improv. And also it can go way wrong when it's <laughs> <laughs> collaborating. Well, what are you collaborating and creating now? Listen, the segues in yeah, the show. Yeah. <laughs> if there was an Emmy category for segues, <laughs> we get one? nominated yes. and dominated, wow. okay? <laughs> you're welcome. Um, let's see, so Good I tweet, just, you're, yeah. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> thank you. Um, you're, I just shot a, um, a project that's going to come out on Apple TV, and I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but I'm very excited to get into that space. Um, I will be um, on a, a cool project also that I can't talk about. Let me talk about the stuff I can't talk about. <laughs> um, I was just on Grey's Anatomy, which was like a huge oh, wow. dream to walk on that set. And I was like, I know where I am, except I was lost because it's like two <laughs> huge sound stages. Um, That's I was, a dream for people who aren't even actors. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then uh, I was on This Is Us and Modern Family. And that was a great wow. episode because Chris Martin from Coldplay was on it. Mm. And like the whole the whole set was kind of just like, <laughs> we were all fangirling. And he was just the nicest person. Um, and then and uh, every Sunday on Instagram, I have a show live called Suggestion Sunday, mm -hmm. where I improvise and I invite special guests in, and then people can play along in the comment section. Um, and I just kind of improvise weekly on a new medium, which is super, super fun. So, so cool. fun. Yeah. So where can people tune in? Great. So my, all of my social media handles are It's Linky, I-T-S-L-I-N-K-E. And um, yeah, they can just join in. It's Sundays at 1230 Pacific, 330 Eastern. And you just jump on and you can... It's it's the best kind of improv show because it's free <laughs> and you can leave whenever you want. <laughs> no drink minimum. That's no awesome. drink minimum. You don't have double. to stick around until the end and tell your friend it was so good. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Don't have to worry about parking. No. Ballet. You can watch in your pajamas on the couch and you don't have to participate or you can participate as much as you want. Wow. Love it. Thanks. Well, Love thank you, you Lisa. You guys, this is so, so fun. <laughs> so fun. Be sure to tune in Sundays at 12. 12.30 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern. Absolutely. It's Linky. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, Wildland.